pay for my therapy plan, Earth! I'm gonna need it after I get back. I'm so tired. And I found that I have a new class? And it's pretty far away, too. <sighs> I better get going. Can't wait to see what disaster awaits. Not, Not so, so fast, fast student. student. Class starts right now. Welcome everyone to the observatory. I am Dr. Cosmos. I study and map the universe. The other schools would never admit it, but we have the best maps. Have a look at this. With our advanced computers, we can locate millions of planets in mere seconds. Shall we put it to the test? Where are you from? Capplaras. Crescenta. Chess L. And how about you? Um, I I'm not sure if it's on here, but I'm from planet Earth. Oh, right. Well, let me see if I can find your home. Hmm. Okay, hold up. Is that Andromeda? Ooh, could this be Earth? It is. Wow. You can learn a lot about these planets from the computer, but what they can't teach you are experiences. I want to hear your stories. Which is why your homework for next week is to give a presentation. 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 Brian, stop that! Earth, <coughs> planet is... Speak up! Otherwise you'll fail your presentation. 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 Dude, this place has an echo. Presentation! Presentation! Oh man, the place is crowded. I'm gonna go look over there for a spot, okay? Huh? Oh, right. Uh, this seat is reserved for a far superior ass than yours. In fact, this whole table is reserved. Can't you read, Earth Guy? I didn't know you could reserve a table. Yeah, well you can. But hey, there's plenty of seats left. In fact, I see a spot right over there. Keep walking. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I always play along? I'd show a little more respect if I were you. That's Earth Guy, a.k.a. the only guy you couldn't catch during the initiation, remember? He just got lucky. Once he runs out of luck, he's got nothing to fall back on. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Let's go. You know what? I'll sit on the floor. Huh? Students, there seems to be some trouble with the gravity regulator. Uh, yeah, we've been known. Hot soup for table four! Attention, this is an emergency. <laughs> okay, so there seems to be some issues with the, uh, regulator thingy. It might be broken, or on fire. We might die. But don't panic! Do not panic! You can't just panic after I told you not to panic! Calm down and move to the exit in an orderly manner. Orderly manner, you animals! Tough luck, kiddo. Pay better attention in crowd surfing class next time. Alright everyone, calm down. Everything's fine. No one's gonna die. Mm. It's only a minor issue with the operating system. 
Guaranteed. Will you stop? I'm trying to cry myself to sleep here. <sighs> Can't sleep. Because of the alarm and my own thoughts. It's just that I don't know why I'm here. Well, I know why, but it should have been someone else, not me. Ah! Shut up! <laughs> it's fake students. You can sleep now. Mmm, five more minutes. Neil? Oh, hey! <laughs> You're sleeping on the floor? Uh, yeah, that's how we sleep on Earth. Oh, what an interesting fact. For your presentation about Earth, undoubtedly. Oh yeah, it's gonna be great. In fact, I was just on my way to the library to work on it. Bye! Ah, uh, way to go, Neil. Raise the bar even higher. Hey, man. What you doing? Trying to work on my presentation. What presentation? Dr. Cosmo's class. Oh, right. I'll get to it. I do my best work last minute. Anyways, what you got? I bet your presentation will be fun. Really? Why? Because of your video, man. It was the funniest, most <laughs> brutally honest application. You're right. That is me. What if I just pretend I'm doing a regular stream? Maybe that could work. Wait, why am I in pajamas? Ugh, I gotta go. It needs, like, a lot more rings. Alright, getting everything ready. Here's what I got so far. Wish me luck. No, wait. Not luck. I need... something else. <laughs> Looks cool, man. Thanks. How's yours? My what? Oh, right. I'll get to it. But it's today. I'll get to it. Wow, what's that? Alright, everyone. We'll start presentations in a few minutes. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, Neil, how's it going? Uh, it's all right. <laughs> you live on an ocean planet? Oh, yeah, Earth is like 70% water. How fascinating. <gasps> What's that? That's a seal. Exceptionally adorable. <clears throat> I, um, look forward to your presentation. Oh. <laughs> That's a wrap up. Let's get into it. The surface of Circeus burns brightly at the perfectly pleasant temperature of around 5800K. By taking a boat through the canal, you'll see most of our capital's famous sights. You'd steer past centuries-old temples, like the Agamarda. Truly an enlightening experience. And I would invite you all to come see it, if you wouldn't horribly burn to death. Imminent darkness, a gravitational pull so strong nothing can escape it. You'll just keep falling and falling. Beyond the enclosing event horizon rests only a world of cold and dark nothingness. Or as I like to call it, home sweet home. I am Ed and I am bound to this black hole ever since I came into existence two years ago. Look at this! This! 
This is perfect. Kathoa was hit by an asteroid 10,000 years ago. Everyone died. Until they realized dying is weak! And so they came back to life, scouring the planet for whatever remains they could find. And they grew stronger, thanks to the mythical dust Argor, and evolved into the bold, brave, and beautiful Kathoans we know and love today. Kathoa has 4,500 volcanoes, of which 4,500 are active volcanoes, because Kathoa hates laziness! And now, I'll read you a list of crimes that will have you beheaded! Theft. Murder. Eating with your mouth open. Blech. Putting only five eyeballs in a pack that clearly says there's six in it. Wearing the same dress as my mother's. Not laughing at my brother Joey's jokes. Yeah, we don't take that one very seriously. Breaking a 7th century vase. Dancing on top of a grape shirtless. Saying I'm not funny during your presentation. Uh, damn it, Joey! Um, are you finished, or...? Yes. And the mother goddess Aurelia filled the planet with her tears and blessed us all with life. Our world under the sea is not as accessible to people outside of Oceantis, which is why I'd like to share the underwater experience through a projection. The oceans are home to over 50 million different types of marine animals, and together we live in harmony. <laughs> we gotta stop bumping into each other, Aquila. <laughs> Alright then, next is Xavier Dennis. Dude, your presentation. Yeah, I'll get to it. No, you have to do it now. Oh. So, Tsaraka was created by our god, Ori, who takes the shape of a bird. See, it's kind of like a nest, and Ori is also on our flag. Like this. Like this? Yeah. And we have, like, a lot of sand here. And here, um, nah, it's all just sand. And tornadoes, lots of tornadoes. That's why we mostly live underground or in the mountains. <laughs> all right then, Mr. Neil Wang. No, say something. I'm freezing. I I can't feel my feet. I I'm flying. Uh, again. <sighs> okay, everyone. Let's take a quick break. You're gonna screw this up like you always do. Neil? Dr. Cosmos! I'm sorry, sir. I'll be right back. I- Whoa! Slow down, son. Easy. Just take a deep breath. You breathe oxygen, right? You know, all this talk of home planets makes me think of my own home. You see, I have this sort of projector, and with it, I can see my home planet, Quasob. Wow. I just love seeing all those clouds in the sky. Thank you, Dr. Cosmos. Well, shall we get back? What do encouraging words sound like on Earth? Well, I usually got man up or be more like your cousin, but that hasn't really gotten me far. Well, how about be more like Neil? To be honest, sir, that hasn't really gotten me far either. Well, it got you here, didn't it? My name 
is Neil Wang from Planet Earth. Earth. You ask me for my personal experience, and for that, I'd like to take a little break from the script and tell you about what I think is the most beautiful place on Earth. It's where part of my family comes from, my Ohana. It's warm. The sun shines with a solar temperature of 56,000 degrees, creating the perfect <laughs> temperature on Earth. There's a beach with lots of sand. <laughs> On one of the neighboring islands, volcanoes erupt. There's bright blue ocean water as far as the eye can see. And when the sun sets, you see the most amazing darkness unfold before you. And in a moment like this, everything feels all right. Well done, Neil. Alright everyone, that's the last one for today. Earth's night sky must look wonderful with such a big moon. <laughs> yeah, if the smog doesn't cover it. But 100 rings in the sky? Now that sounds amazing! Nah, it gets old real fast. You can have it if you want. Oh, no, I, I shouldn't. It's okay, there's plenty more in the ocean. But I'm sure I don't need to tell you that. <laughs> right. Thank you. That was a great presentation, Neil. Thanks. Alright everyone, we've got your evaluation sheets ready. Well done, Neil. <laughs>